Okay. Hi, everyone. So this is a game I have been uh, interested in since I heard about it. Uh, the Game Awards. Windblown. Uh, I think I heard about it last year? Yeah, I heard about this uh, last year because I saw it at the Game Awards last year. And I've been waiting uh, for a while to actually play this. And now they come out with a single player demo. And the game's going to be out tomorrow as I'm recording this. So I wanted to give it a shot. I have no idea what I'm in for. I know these are the same people that make Dead Cells, but I, I never had the chance to play Dead Cells. So I, I genuinely have no idea what I'm in for. All I know is, is that this is a roguelike and it potentially will have like co-op and whatnot. So without further ado, let's uh, see what this has to offer. Sure. Choose a body. Demo values reward. Hmm. I mean, it is just a demo, and they have said that it'll carry a data will carry over. So you know what? Uh, I'm just gonna for the demo. I'll try it out. Beautiful art. Awaken. Come. Join me. Very beautiful. Like, I'm loving this. Like, just the visuals so far. This looks really cool. The first step, do I have... Okay, so right analog stick, that looks like different emotions. Hmm. Left is move. Direction pad does nothing. R1, R2, L1, L2. Okay. So X on my end is dash. Only dash once. Holding it does nothing. Might be items. So, so far, all I can really do is dash. Okay. Yeah, look at this. That's beautiful. Ah, that's what it's used for. Fish knife. Perfect for fish. Good for adventure. The last is critical. Hmm. Right a bit. Alia does nothing. I don't think I get a dash strike like in Hades. Okay. Ah. Alright. First enemy. Alright. Interesting, interesting, okay. might be starting to get a hang of the basics. Cool. Yeah, the aesthetic reminds me a lot of, uh, what's it called? Risk of Rain? It might be the textures, or it might be the colors. Not sure. Ow. 
There we go. Keep moving. Hey, wait. You're not a sentinel. We used to be like you. And if I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, but things didn't end well. It used to be broken. A shred of memory haunting this. Mineral? If you like, we can help you leave this cursed place. We can share what's left of us with you. It might disturb you initially. But hey, spare the main trout here forever if you ask me. Please choose me. You can only absorb one of us. Not me, free me. Don't listen to them. Take the one that will help you the most. Oh, so this is their RNG system. Okay, so that's how you do RNG. Okay, uh, when hit, creates an explosion that stuns. Okay, so that's revenge. Weapon and trigger damage, that's buff. Dashes activate focus. Hmm. I will try the focus dash. Dashes activate focus 60 for one hit. Okay. So I must have to do something in order to be able to, I guess, unlock it? Whew. I gotta say, the movement definitely, compared to stuff like Cultural Lamb or Hades, it feels a little more restrictive, yet free, if it makes any sense. I don't feel like I can move around as much as I could in those other games, but the lack of move I know it's early access, but the lack of movement makes up for like the I guess the levels the leveling on the platforms. Like it's not just a it, it, that might be I don't know that I guess that might be the sets at work. Like, instead of it just having having be, like, essentially one level with the implication of height or or height or increase or decrease in level. Now, these are actual 3D set pieces, so you can actually feel that height. You can actually feel the elevation. It's nice. I like that. So I do have to be careful because some of these enemies can just absolutely tank hits. That's important to know. But I can't I can't just I can't just hack and slash away. I can't just hack and slash away. No, I got I gotta start dodging more. Okay. Good to know. Deals criticals after the third strike. The old jump attack. See what it's like uh, in action. That's secondary weapon, huh? That's very different. All right. Oof. I don't know if the leap is worth it, honestly. That leaves me open to being attacked. Don't know if it's worth it all the time. 
Might be something I have to use when the moment strikes. What is this? Oh. Pathways. That's what these are. Okay. Self. Save that for later. Oh. More enemies. Move. Thank you. Whew. All right, so the secondary weapon does actually, uh, it, it does actually stun them, I think. As far as I can tell. Interesting. What we get? Abundance. Uh, that's more currency. Okay, intricate damage, deal 40 while near your target. Focus, bonus damage, plus 100. I've already gone for one focus. Let, let's try a full set of focus. Let's see if I can't do that. Follow the wind. That was quick. Movement in this game is very fast. It's actually kind of impressive how fast it is. I guess in terms of, like, back to the whole thing around, like, elevation, one game I could actually say I uh, had this nailed as well was Risk of Rain, since I brought that up, Risk of Rain 2. But that was more definitely of a, uh, it felt more like a 3D arena fighter roguelike in a lot of ways. Considering it was made by uh, the same people I think that did Borderlands. Yeah. This feels more like, uh, ooh, that'd be epic. This feels more like Hades and Cult of the Lamb type of roguelike. All right? At least in terms of, like, exploration. Woo! Woo! Okay. We're good. We're good. Ah, oh, another one. Uh, maximum health, attack speed. I will go for maximum health. Doing good. We're doing good. I ate shit. Okay. Alright, got it. Come on. Whew. Got him. Okay. Yeah, enemies are definitely getting harder, I can already tell. Oh, that's not good. I need to heal soon. I don't know when I can heal next, though. Ooh. I'm gonna die. <coughs> Both in the game and out of the game. Ah! I feel too good. Oof. Move, move. Oh, he's pissed. Okay. Come on. Got it. Oh. Did I, did I get hurt from that? Uh, I'm supposed to charge. Oh. Left button. Okay. Uh, is there any place to heal? Or... 
I know this is a roguelike, I'm just like, I'm wondering if there's gonna be any point to heal. Probably when I defeat a major boss. If I had to guess. I'm probably gonna have to deal with it. Woo! Woo! Okay, okay, okay. Okay! Woo, okay. Woo! Okay, 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 okay. No, no! Ooh! So close! Yet so far. Okay, wow. First try on that. I think I did pretty alright. That might have been the first mini boss. That's it? Kyle is back? I'm here, master. Huh. <clears throat> Another new recruit to train, then. Ush, give it down. At last. Give them time to get over their emotions. They only just come back to life. Hey! Keep your dummy! Getting killed isn't easy to digest. Now look at the mob. Welcome to our arc. My name is Eperin, head of the village in the Le Leapers Guild. He seemed to have fully recovered. Our Makaba sure knows how to work miracles in the infirmary. See that thing you're wearing on your back? It's a pulsar. Don't know where you got it, but it's linked to your soul. It's what allows you to come back to life here in the arc. You're very lucky. Only those linked to a pulsar have the privilege of becoming a leaper. Leapers, first and foremost, are here to help pe the people of the Ark. They bring back precious resources such as cogs found on the Vortex Sentinels. If you show willingness to help the Ark's inhabitants, I'll make you a new recruit. For starters, can you see the culprit to the west? Culprit to the west? Apparently one of my appearances have brought him a sentinel... Apparently one of my apprentices brought him a sentinel gold. Don't worry, he's totally harmless, but we can get can't get to work. If you make it, you'll if you make it, you'll be one of us. What do you say? Of course you'll be working with Makaba. Before you go, take this flask, it might come in handy. A flask. Purpose of 40% of your HP. Okay. Ah, oh, they also have, uh, like, little heads-up displays. Or I should say they have icons for that. That's right. You're the newcomer? I'm Kipberg. I'm in charge of restoring all the Ark's broken things, but this damn golem resists me. I tried everything, but it seems to be missing a vital component. Perhaps you can find it in the Vortex. All you have to do is seek the same model and grab the part in question. I'm very curious to see what this golem is all about. So, I have to go out and figure this. Okay. Seems simple enough. Very beautiful. I, I'm loving this area. Oh, look at that. I, I just realized that. That's nice de attention to detail. I love it. That's, that's very good. I love it. Love it. The air boats just shake. Love it. Also, this music. I wonder if this is the uh, same artist that did the music for Haven. It sounds somewhere. Alright, so where do I go for... And that's very beautiful. I'm just like, where do I go for an expedition? I will probably find it. Here? No, this is the infirmary.
Ah, this is where we go. Look, here's Vome though. I bet they gave you your first mission after you got blasted by the Vortex, lol. What's more, you don't even know how to use the cannon. So simple, you just have to get into it. But seeing as you only have two brain cells. Ah! That's what you fucking get, dude. Let's go. Seriously, who the hell talks with fucking online acronyms in real life? What the fuck? WTF. <laughs> Backstabs deal criticals, hell dash manager too. Hmm. Okay. Golem Gardens. So let's try this again. Face looks like Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. go. Death Orb. It's I'm getting used to, but not that I can't work with it. Okay, so even the even the daggers have a range towards its special ability. Good to know. Ah. Alarm! Please do not destroy me. The uh, 43 v 3 r is a pacifist model. Please have friendly attitude when using VF. Three. That fire request. Well, got what we needed. All that's left is just keep going. Let's see how far we can get this time. I'm gonna have to get good at dodging. Almost had it. Unlock Ultra Attack. Hmm? Use one weapon until the signal appears, and use a narrow weapon to watch its ultra. Ah, I see. Interesting. That's nice. I like that. Let's see if I can't test it out. Ooh. 
I can't tell what the fuck is going on, but I am fucking loving it. Woo. Okay. Kills heal you for 4%. Kills activate brutality. Gives bonus damage for the duration. Can only have one at a time and will always take the stronger effect. We didn't see either one of these, but let's go with Necromancy. Oh, so I can Hold on, hold on Uh Kunai or the guitars. Applies curse. All curses explode during criticals. And then this is just. Hmm. For now, I'll stick with the fish knife. Well, let's replace the guitars with kunai. Oh. Deals nearby damage to targets repeatedly. Ah, oh, it's an AoE effect. And its cooldown is at least 30 seconds. That's something to be wary of. It's good to know. Okay, okay. Okay, so that's interesting, so switching weapon is not necessarily, uh, is permanent. That's cool, I like that. I like that is, that's something I think, uh, Call to the Lamb I don't necessarily like out of it, necessarily. Is that, yeah, when, the, the game will give you the ability to switch weapons mid-run, but as far as I can tell for, like, a run... I don't know, I haven't been in the game, so maybe I shouldn't be saying this, but... I don't know, in my experience, mid-run, it's just like, once you switch weapon, that's kind of it. And I guess that's not... And it, it's not that bad, but at the same time, it's just like... What if I wanted to just return to what I, uh, had pre previously? I kind of like that they give you that option here. As far as I can tell. It's nice.
Come on. Probably shouldn't have done that. Well, I made my ballot nails now, so I'll just have to not toss and turn. 40 health. And then over there. Oh, they're mines. these cryptic memories will do. I, I imagine it's just sort of a... Whoa, 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 hold on. Oh. So pools like these actually heal you? Oh, I didn't know that. Huh. I don't... I don't recall if I've seen these... Uh, I don't recall if I've seen these pools of water mid-run the first two times before now. Or if this is something where it's just like, if I defeat a boss like that, then they give me healing. But that's, that's nice. I like that. I was like, how do you heal in this game? They, they, they just answer, uh, this. Whoever said that exploring and just figuring shit out for yourself uh, didn't come in with its benefits. I didn't need to look up a walkthrough for this shit. I just ran into a wall and it just led me into healing. That's, that's nice. I like that. Oh, hey, we got a shop. Uh, Mimonite dust, Mimonite dust, Mimonite dust. I guess? I I'm not too sure what the Mimonite dust does yet, but I imagine that I will find out. What's in this? Dogs. All right. Oh, is that that it? Oh, congratulations on surviving this far. Thank you for playing our little appetizer. If you've enjoyed your experience and want to support us, be sure to add Windblown to your Steam wish list right now. It means a lot. Of, it means a lot to us. And hey, if it also helps our supposed friend, the it also helps our supposed friend the recommendation algorithm. See you October 24th for the Early Access launch where more ch characters, weapons, challenges, and special powers wait you. Not to mention co-op, so get ready to leap into the vortex with friends. Wow, so that's... Huh. Didn't expect it to be over this quickly, but wow, that's that's just a taste of what they have? I'm, I'm down, honestly. I want to get this game. I know I said I was more interested in getting, like, Metaphor Re Fantasio, but... I mean, the game is 70 bucks, depending on how much this is actually, uh, and depending on what goes, and depending on how much I actually do have for this week, or for next week I should say, I might have enough in the budget. But yeah, that was just for a demo, that's really good, I love it. Like, the art direction, beautiful. I love the visuals, I love the gameplay. Oh my god, the gameplay is absolutely tight. It's challenging. It 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 feels weighty like the 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 attacks and the damage system, the attacks and the hit reg and the hitboxes. Like this feels genuinely like 
I, I, I can, I, I can absolutely see this being, uh, up there as, the, as, like, another good roguelike. Like, we already have, like, what, Risk of Rain 2, we have stuff like, uh, Isaac, Binding of Souls, I think that's what it's called. We have Cult of the Lamb, we have Hades and Hades 2, we have those games. This, from the looks of things, I mean, this is absolutely... I mean, hell, if you want to throw in Hawkeye Star Oil, because it technically has its own roguelike, like, this is up there to me as, like, this is a genuinely good roguelike, and I, I can't wait to play more of this when I absolutely can, and I absolutely can't wait to try this out for my friends. We were already excited for this when we saw it at the, uh, at, at the Game Awards, but this... This is, like, actually playing it myself, the single-player demo. This is something else. I, I just, I am so curious about the, I, I'm so curious about what the, what the Early Access Full Edition is going to be. Like, if co-op, oh my god, what if co-op actually increases the difficulty? Oh my god, that's right, I, I forgot to mention, because yeah, that reminded me of, like, Rabbit and Steel. I'm like, oh yeah, Rabbit and Steel, that was a roguelike, too. So yeah, this is... Oh my god, yeah, this is gonna... I, I, I have to check this out, my friends. I have to see what this has to offer. But yeah, this is absolutely... This is, this has sold me. I love it. I'm... I might play some more on my own, the demo... Uh, I, I, I might, I might play some more of, of the demo on my own time, uh, considering that it's coming out tomorrow as I'm recording. I don't know. Depending on how much the early access is, I might consider getting it tomorrow or, uh, next week. But yeah, this is, this is definitely something I would, uh, absolutely consider booting up for November. I don't think this is something I'm going to do this late in the game for October because it's I, I'm in the middle of doing an Amori run so my hands are kind of occupied with that but yeah this is, this is definitely something worth picking up and actually like playing through with friends honestly this absolutely if single player if the single player experience is this fun I can only imagine what's going to be like early access with friends I'm already having enough fun early access on Hades 2, and that's a single player game. I'm just wondering a game a roguelike in early access like this with friends. I just I gotta see what this is like. This is just oh my god. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> this is this has got me hooked. <laughs> uh thank you all for I guess joining me to check out this demo for the first time. And uh, honestly, I, I I wanna I wanna come back to this. I definitely wanna come back to this and play it more. But yeah, this is this has got me. This has got uh, this has got my attention, and I can't wait to check it out later. So I'll have to see about checking it out sometime. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching me. Take care.